Well, Tyler Obermiller, uh, state champion, what, I mean, 13 years removed from the first <laughs> one, is it almost surreal? It's, uh, it's different. It's definitely a different. Uh, back when I won my first one, uh, I was, you know, going through the college grind and uh, just wanted to impress your your teammates and challenge those guys. Uh, now that I'm a married man with two kids and uh, like I told you guys yesterday, kind of the weekend warriors. So uh, still feel like my game is good enough to compete and uh, yeah, just super special weekend to be with the family and uh, Sand Valley, awesome golf course. I can't say enough about how they set this place up. I came down here a week ago and uh, played with a couple of my neighborhood friends and I thought we were gonna have to make a lot of birdies. I really did, um, but they toughened this thing up pretty good. And they, they had some good pins. They made it fast and firm and um, it was a battle out there. It was fun. What did it mean to have your dad on the bag and, and Peyton? And what did what did you say to each other at the end? Super special. Um, I don't even know what to say. I, I remember caddying for my dad when he was playing in club championships back at River Falls Country Club. and. I probably was only a year or two older than Peyton was and I, we have a picture at home where my hands are up after my dad made a winning putt to win the club championship and to just kind of go full circle, have my dad on the bag and be able to have the memories, I mean it's I'll never forget it. And have, to have Peyton here was super special, um, he's seven years old, he's starting to pick up the game and uh, yeah it was awesome. I thought you played a back nine for the ages. Um, you broke out of a huge log, and there are five guys tied for the lead at one point. I don't know if you knew that. Then you birdied 10 and 11. How big were those birdies? Yeah, so I didn't know that. Um, I actually tried not to look at the leaderboard too much this week. Um, I really just wanted to hit quality shots. And like I told you guys yesterday, I had a lot of good leg putts um, and just played for two putts. But I played the par fives absolutely brutal this week. Um, Overall, I mean, I bet you I played them over par, which is probably not many other guys did that because those are the holes that you got to score on. And uh, I just told myself after I made the turn on nine, got to take take a chance here and make some birdies on the back. I got three par fives. Let's see if we can do it. And I started off with a good shot on ten, hit it right to the center of the green, and had a nice two putt for birdie, which kind of just gave gave the adrenaline going again. And uh, obviously followed that up with a really nice birdie on eleven. Uh, Missed a shorty on 12, which I, I knew that that was going to be a, a big one, but uh, kept my composure and just kind of kept going and uh, knew the guys that I was playing with and kind of where I was at and uh, just stayed positive and stayed one shot at a time. So, Can you talk about uh, your, the distance? on the, That was three wood into 10 green? Into 10, yep. How far were you in? You know what, I think I was like 265 front. It was probably 285 pin. So, I, I mean, it was probably a 275, three wood to the middle of the green. and. I just needed, I told myself, just swing the damn thing because <laughs> I, I was playing the par five so bad and uh, it just felt good to finally hit a green and, and take advantage of one, so. And then 11, you had like, I heard you say 121 in? Yeah, okay? I was 121 in, uh, just it was a nice gap wedge. Uh, 11's kind of a pin that you can feel comfortable, uh, get a number and be aggressive in that shot. And um, yeah, hit a nice wedge in there to six, seven feet and made the putt, so that one felt good too. And then your, we got a picture of your reaction on 16, which was classic. Yeah. I mean, and, yep. and then contra and complimented by the yeah. reaction. Of so six, up, yeah, go ahead and six, talk about that. 16, crazy, because I, I was basically in the same spot yesterday. Um, I won't tell my dad this, but uh, I, I had nine iron yesterday into the pin, and he, he talked me into hitting a pitching wedge. And I hit it really good, came off the green into the bunker, and I made bogey, so I was super upset about that from yesterday but we had a short memory and uh but remembered that shot into today and uh hit a nine iron and i hit it really really flush so when you hit it into that pin it just feels like it's going to be too much club but there's enough hurt off to the left there and uh turned out to be a pretty good shot just kind of a sh straight putt down the hill just really icy and just had to be careful coming down in so last question quick it's been a long time since someone with a kid won this tournament <laughs> what did it mean to have him run out on 18 green you've probably seen that on pga tour events awesome yeah yeah like i said to have peyton here uh super memorable i'll remember this forever and hopefully he'll remember this as he grows up that he got to hang out with dad and uh super special tournament so thanks a lot